morning after everyone afternoon evening whichever time you're watching it welcome to big d smokehouse what we're going to do today big old ham butt big old whole thing of bologna notch it cut it if you haven't yet tried it do it see I got my fire going right there so yeah I'm gonna be cooking on gunner today and then we'll get it going fire side is going my gasket held up good from last night a eh, couple places I still got a touch up right there I'm not too worried about it see I got my charcoal on there I got my tumbleweeds so it's lighter up away we go and we're back yeah I'm not gonna keep doing that but yeah waiting for it to get up to temp I wanted to hover around 250 ish I'd like to keep it there for a little while and it's it's staying right there I mean it's see it's it just went up but it's going up extremely slow so that's good I got my vents only half open on each side the firebox is containing the smoke and the heat like I wanted it to with that gasket so perfect see it just and then it that just went down to 246 so it's staying right about where I wanted to which is perfect I got the other vent halfway open this is what we're doing today folks whole bologna what I did was and it's not the perfect cuts it's not the greatest cuts in the world but You'll see when it's done. I got some cross section. Hey, it just hit 250. Good. Good. Now it's time to put her on then. So, got some cross sections going either way. And like I said, not the per best perfect cuts, but season the outside. And then I did nothing to the ham. I personally and my family, we just like ham. Nothing added, nothing taken away. We just like ham. So, I'll be back with you in a minute. Get this going. Make sure she's not creeping up on temp. Yeah. It's going to be an all day. Well, not an all day. Half a day cook. Because I want that ham just falling right off. My wife loves it that way. So, that's what we're going to do. We'll be back. And we're back. Like I said, fire staying exactly where I want. The highest it's gone is 255, and then it started going back down again. So that's perfect. Cook it here for a while. We'll be back and forth. I'll keep the progress because, like I said, I'm that impatient cooker. So, but yeah, we got our ham. We got our bologna cooking. Oh, oh yeah. Well, sorry about that. It's been a couple of hours. Let's give her a look. Let's see how she's looking. Temperature's been staying between there. 250, 260 at the most. Oh, my fire. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look here. Pardon me as I open this thing up. There we go. Oh, man, that's looking good. That bologna, oh man, oh yeah, let's roll that baby right over, yeah, it's going to fall apart, that's what it's going to do, oh yeah, that's looking good. I cannot wait. 
that's just going to be to snack on and have later on. That's going to be for dinner and make some ham salad out of it. Oh, that's just going to be for probably the rest of the week right there. Well, if it makes it to the rest of the week. Well, it's been about three hours. Oh, yeah. Our bologna's done. It's time to take it off. Chill it out, cut it open, and then well, and then we'll eat. And there is smoked bologna. And now it's time to try the bologna. I got a little bit of Dijon on it. It's been smoked. It's got some stuff. Oh my word, this stuff. Whew. Oh my word. Oh my. If you've never had smoked bologna, Hmm. The ham's laid about. Wow. Well, let's take a look. Been since eight. It's now noon. Oh, oh. Got some corn on. That's coming good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check the temp. See how we're looking. Pardon me with the video. Let's try it right there. Yeah, we're getting that. Not too much longer. Hey, okay, here we go. Once again, the better half, Katna. About four and a half hours at an average temp I would say of 270 was the average temp I mean it spiked up to 3 and then it got down as low as 225 but the average was about 270 that's just the father talking to the dog don't mind him And yes, he's talking to that one right there. Lila, thank you. Oh, that's looking good here. Let's do this because well, I don't that do was it. Smart. What? I was cutting you, put your finger. Oh, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Oh my word! Oh my word! Oh, wow. That is some juicy right there. Are you still filming? Of course. Yes, mother. I'm still filming, mother. That's good. Look at that right there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And there are the chillings. Yeah. And there's father watching along. Oh boy, that is, boy, that, that is, it's not a heavy smoke. I didn't put any seasoning on it because obviously you all know ham is salty enough. It's just straight ham and that is juicy and very good. You're going to like it a lot. Okay, I'll be back. Well, that concludes another Big D Smokehouse Cook.
ham butt, bologna. Awesome. They came out great. Like I said, just a simple seasoning on the bologna. Nothing spectacular. Do what you want to do uh, for seasoning. If you don't want to do anything, don't do anything. But I do suggest you cut it, like in the cross sections, like I had it, an inch and a half to two inches, anywhere in there, an inch or an inch and a half. But I mean, the best is inch and a half to two inches. That way, you know, the inside is going to get done. But do what you want for the seasoning. I mean, it's awesome. That ham, I did absolutely nothing to it. No salt, no pepper, just stuck it right on there, and then boom, it was done. And when it came out, like I said, you saw, oh man, there's nothing, nothing beats cooking. I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna say gunner, but on a grill, on a barbecue, I mean, nothing beats it. So, I'm gonna let this thing just kind of do its voodoo and just cook itself out, what's left in there, and everything. I'm stuffed to the brim. Oh boy, I'm done. That was great. Now it's time to kick back, put the feet up, relax for the rest of the day when it's 90, extremely humid, and I do this. Well, that's what I do. So yeah, uh, like, subscribe, please help me uh, get, get my channel out there. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten so far. And then if you didn't like it, eh, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, it's free country. So, once again, this is Big D's Smokehouse. Until we meet again.